Welcome to Blossoming by Grace and Grit. We are on Wisdom 365, Wisdom for Every Day, Wisdom that only comes from God by reading His Word and spending time with Him. Let us pray. Today I'm going to pray from the Bible verse of Nehemiah 8.10, and it says, The joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, O God for allowing us to celebrate even when our life is uncertain. When I trust in your salvation, I don't have to depend on circumstances for joy. As I follow your way and receive the blessings of your righteousness, my heart is filled with joy. Though I may not know the outcome of everything in my life, I am trusting in you and I know that you care for all of my needs. How my heart rejoices that I can trust in you. Thank you that I can celebrate your love and holiness each day. May the celebration be sweeter every day because I put my trust in you, my Father, every single day. And you make me strong. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Thank you, my Father. Psalm 18, verse 31 says, Could there be any other God like Yahweh? For there is not a more secure foundation than you. God, you have wrapped me in power and made my way perfect. Though you ascend to the highest peak to stand strong and secure in you, you've trained me with the weapons of warfare worship. My arms can bend a bow of bronze. You empower me for victory with your wraparound presence. Your power within makes me strong to subdue. By stooping down in gentleness, you make me great. You have set me free, and now I am standing complete. That is the joy of the Lord. Amen. Today, I would like to speak with you regarding celebrating others. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up as you already are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Do you know that when you celebrate others, there is a joy that comes over you? Because truly, celebrating other people really comes from the Lord. There is a joy that is derived by helping people and celebrating them and lifting them up. As you lift others up, you yourself will be lifted up. Do you delight in the victory of others? You should. Each day provides countless opportunities to encourage others and to pray, praise their good works. Yes, you can pray for them, but also it would be nice if you can tell them how you really feel, how you love them, how you think they are doing a good job, how your son or your daughter, that you're proud of them, your wife, how you love her, how you think about her during the daytime. When you do so, you not only spread seeds of joy and happiness, you also obey the commandments of God's holy word. As Christians, we are called upon to spread the good news of Christ, and we are also called to spread a message of encouragement and hope to the world. So let us be cheerful, Christians, with smiles on our fa faces, encouraging one another with words that lift each other up. By blessing others, we also bless ourselves, and at the same time, we do honor to the one who gave his life for us. A single word, if spoken in a friendly spirit, may be sufficient to turn one from dangerous errors. One of the best ways to encourage someone who is hurting is with your ears by listening to them. Do you want to be successful and go far in life? Encourage others to do the same. You can't lift other people up without lifting yourself up too. And remember the words of Oswald Chambers, God grant me that we may not 
hinder those who are battling their way slowly into the light. Every one of us are on a journey. Some may already be in the light. Some may have already received a revelation of Christ and of his word. Some may be reading the word and understand every single syllable and every single consonant and, and paragraph, but there are some that are still on their way to finding the light and we need to be patient with them. We need to remember where we came from. We need to remember that we were once in darkness as well. So let us celebrate others today, even if they are sinners and even if they are living a life of sin, just tell them something nice, affirm them, validate them. Maybe those words that you are going to speak over them might be the only words that they are going to hear that might change the directions of their life because Jesus works through us. As we celebrate others, we are celebrating the God that gave us life and his son that died to set us free. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you so much, my Father, for this word. And I ask you to bless each and every one of my subscribers, each and every person listening to the sound of my voice. Amen. I send you much love, my friend, my family, and many blessings. Remember to keep smiling until we meet again. The goodness of God is all around us. And if you want to receive and to be able to enjoy the goodness of God and all that it entails, the blessings, the peace, the joy, I invite you to receive Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. The goodness of God is available to you today. If you have not received Jesus, do not wait. Do it today. Do not wait to be perfect or rich. Do not wait to have a bigger house or a better job and have everything right in your life. Do it today, my friend. It is my honor to lead you in this prayer. And you might think that this is so simple. How can a simple prayer make something so important like receiving Jesus as my Lord and Savior? How can that be? Jesus made this process so easy. And yet it is so powerful. So follow me in this prayer. Father God, thank you so much for Jesus Christ, your son. I believe that he died and he bled and that he resurrected on the third day. I realize that I am a sinner and I ask you forgiveness for my sins. I ask you to be my Lord and my Savior. Make something wonderful of my life as I promise to follow you from this day forward. Amen. My friend, if you've done that prayer, if you've said that prayer, there is a celebration in heaven as heaven celebrates with the repentance of every sinner. Congratulations. You are now part of the family of God. <laughs>